So before I continue, I just wanted to quickly mention that um, I walked behind the scene yesterday. I want to say kudos. <laughs> because that place is been. chaotic. <laughs> You know, sometimes you just say, what's they're happening? They're not doing, they're not doing, now I don't know what they're doing. But it does not mean, Sha. We will still fight them. But <laughs> I just wanted, I had to mention that, that all the guys behind the scene, God bless you people. Because the people that are watching us now, they don't know what you guys go through. But we say, we say thank you very much. Now, so Belgian Independence Day is celebrated annually on July 21st. It is one of Belgium's um, 10th public holidays and commemorates the investiture of the country's first monarch, uh, monarch, King Leopold I, who told the constitutional, who took rather the constitutional oath in um, 1831. This day also celebrates the separation of Belgium from Netherlands and the former establishment of the kingdom. It was decided that Belgium would become a constitutional and popular monarchy, reflecting the romantic. Um, nationalism that was popular at the time. The celebration takes place at uh, the pa place, I mean, place the, 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 the Palais, Palais yeah. in Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. I would love to visit Bel Belgium. I was just going to say Europe. You know, the funny thing is that, so I've always said that, okay, every time I get to, but every time I go to Europe, it's always a very short visit. Okay, so right. I'm trying to see probably one of the long holidays, maybe like a summer holiday, mm -hmm. if my sister would be around, or maybe Christmas, I would block off maybe like two, two three weeks. weeks. Yeah. Uh -huh. So two, three weeks would be enough. We would drive to... Because they do that a lot. A lot, yes. They I do know that a lot. someone who's on a Europe tour now, mm. and I think he's doing, I think, 19 days or 21 days or so. And he's done Greece. He's done Spain. I think he's going to Italy as well. And it's just been, I've been living through his stories, and I'm just watching him, seeing him going to Ibiza, going to Barcelona. I'm like, ah, nice. I think it's something that I no, want No, it's actually... Because it's actually fun when you mm -hmm. do that, you know, whole road... Thing. Yeah, I also want to visit a country that still practices monarchy, by the way. Mm. So all these countries are like the king of Spain, the king of um, Belgium, and I want to see, I want to feel it and see what You know, speaking of a holiday, places. right, I saw, I think it was AY's um, pictures on Instagram with mm. his wife and mm. his children or at Madame Tussauds. I said, whoa. It's been a long time I went there. I remember going there with my children and all that. The, the wax image, you know, they keep improving all the time. But the trick to Madame Tussauds is to, like, target the angle of the eye, the eye direction of the wax. What? So that is the eye direction you should also... <laughs> so it will not look so real, like you're together mm -hmm. with the, the, the person. All right, so what did you find for us in the news? Okay, on um, today's episode of Prices of Things Hiking ha, Up... Yes, so. <laughs> Unilag hikes tuition from 19,000 naira to over 140,000 naira. To start with, I didn't know that Unilag was still paying 19,000 naira. So when I saw this today, I'm like, okay, but then that's just tuition, tuition fees, by the way. So previously, students of Unilag paid 19,000 naira, but the management has fixed the fees at 190,000 naira and 250 naira for students, and this is for students studying medicine. Mm -hmm. But for other courses that require laboratory and studio, they have to pay 140,000 naira. Programs that do not require lab and studio are fixed at 100,000 naira. Now, I mean, this is what, how many percent increase? This is over 400 percent increase in what space? First of all, there are people that are already even struggling to get into the university. Now, okay, let's even assume that, I mean, of course, prices of things have gotten higher. They need to pay the lecturers. And I don't want to hear that after this, we're still talking about ASU strike. After this thing, please, let them settle whatever it is that they need to settle with the union of the lecturers and whatnot so that these children are not paying this amount of money yet sitting at home for two months, three months. That's the one that is going to now annoy us. So if they are paying this money, let them at least get value. For what they are paying for thank you know you know speaking to this I, I remember seeing a post that my sisters shared in our sisters group mm -hmm. right uh it said jackpot education budget for one person with uh, this naira inflation so if you're going to the uk it's almost 20 million naira yeah, for one year no. msc mm -hmm. canada is about 22 million <laughs> two-year course usa is at least 25 million for a two-year msc yeah. finland is about seven million mm -hmm. australia is about czech republic um australia czech Repo republic and Portugal is mm. between five to six million. Malta is about five to seven million. Mauritius is about three million. Australia is about 30 million. They can't say Delso, Nigeria. 
600k. My sister said, Delso to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but in all honesty, I say, yeah. Hmm. The truth is, right, education everywhere in the world That's is not cheap. Of course. So, in fairness, mm. uh, there has to be a more, um, what's it called, a more creative way mm. to solve the challenges in our educational sector. School fees technically is high. I'm inside there. Do you understand? We they calculate every day. As dollar they rise, our blood pressure, it is trying to rise, but God says it will not rise. But I'm just trying to explain to you that, in fairness, even that 140K is nothing. Mm -hmm. When you really want to put a cost to quality education, it is up, like you're, just, you're not even scratching anywhere. Mm -hmm. 170K, how much are we paying for our children in, in secondary schools exactly. or primary even schools? Primary schools. True. Do you understand? True. So to get quality education, it has to come in expensive. The oh, only God. thing, no, the only thing is that, right? So education and, so let me explain how it works. Most mm. in um, uh, Western world, mm. they give you free education mm -hmm. between, so education is not free between zero to five. Yeah, of course. From is. six to, um, what's it called, the secondary six, level yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, till you, secondary school, mm -hmm. 16. 17, it, it's, yeah. it's free. The university is really expensive. You it, if course. you go and check, um, call, um, most of the people that are paying heavy loans, they are student loans. Why do you see that Americans don't go to school? Why do you see that they, the Westerners don't go to school? Mm. University especially. When they finish that free one, they say, I bet they go work. Because university ex education is, is very expensive. But what people now do is that big people that have gone on to, like, um, what's it called, become really successful in the society, mm. go back to their alma mater. And they and say, then, you know what, these funds, so you now see that they have XYZ the scholarships the, yeah, all over the place. That, yeah. Grants, student mm -hmm. grants. And mm -hmm. It is people that are funding it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you understand? So imagine if we say we want to tax the private sector, that for every tax you pay, a certain percentage goes to education. education. Mm. That's how it works. Yeah, well, I'm not doubting all of this, right? But now I'm saying that if you've woken up now and you say this is what you want to charge, fine, we agree that tertiary education is expensive, but will we get the value at 140 for what we are paying for? No, what you are saying, what you, you, are, you want to compare to what they are paying in Canada and Czech Republic and the rest of that. No, now. I'm trying to tell you that even at that 140 key, you will not get what you're looking for. They are just increasing it just to My sustain. Only that no, look at the key has to strike look, again. No, That's but all. look at let's just calculate cost of living. Do you understand? Let's be realistic. Mm. Do you understand? What mm. is what is 140 k today in our economy? It's nothing. Nothing. It's like toothpick. <laughs> ah. It's nothing though. So that, I'm not I'm not trying to be See, a daughter of doom. This is a fundamental problem. But that's what I'm saying to you that we must find a better solution for it. Do you understand? If we start to pay lecturers better. A lot of things will change. Mm. If we also start to pay teachers better, mm. a lot of things will change. Yes, so that's why I'm saying that the way we can fund the educational space, we have to really find a way to bring in mm. the private sector, bring in people that are, you know, so that we start to find, uh, what's it called, appropriate funds mm. that would, you know, make the schools, carry, yes, yeah. carry the, yeah. the and the match the quality that. that we are looking for. Sure. Ah. <laughs> you know, man, I know this, you. So my story, I will just mention it. Everybody, I want to go and do bombo. Even me, I want to go and do bombo. <laughs> you know this thing, we hear it all the time, and we are wondering what's going on. You know, but I've said this thing several times, and every time I see this story, I'm always led to talk about it again. Um, so this young girl, according to the report, she went to do a surgery, a butt um, a enlargement surgery, and she died in the process. She's again. just 22 years old. Egg. What? Yes. But enlargement surgery. And now this person is looking like a man that turned to a woman. I don't know, Sha. What's the But um, Micah. So why are you trying? Why are you looking like this? Micah, Sha, that's why I'm saying that it looks so, it looks like there's a lot of work that has gone on on, on her. You know, or I don't know. Micah, um, Shabasova, I think that's the name. Mm. She died after she, under, she had undergone a Botox enlargement surgery by an unqualified beautician in Russia. So this is even in Russia. Um, the police are currently probing the sudden death of a woman who died which uh, by the beautician, uh, who was um, her friend. 
Now, so the beautician was her friend. So that's how come, according to the report, the beautician had offered her 150 uh, euro uh, uh, procedure after she died. I mean, after she studied on a two-week course. <laughs> Ooh. She went to a quack. Bottom line, she went to a quack. Even me, no, even me, no read that come. Even me, I'm shocked to read it. <laughs> I the lady so the lady just come out from school. It's just mm -hmm. like the, the lady, you know, there was one we had in Nigeria too now that had come out. Okay. The, 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 what was her name Dr. again? Dr. Anu. Mm. She just came out from school and now used you to practice. <laughs> oh my God. It's sad. We're not supposed to be so laughing. The thing is, don't, not, don't, it's, so now it's not even a case of don't even do whatever beauty enhancement it is that you want to do. Just make sure that you are using the right. Um, but I was going to say that, in fairness, right, even if you want to do anything, I've, I've, I've jokingly said that I don't like the size of my tummy. If I have my way, I want a flat six-pack, one thing, one thing. And if surgery is what will get it for me, I will get it do done. It. <laughs> but in, in fairness, right, Botox um, enlargement is one of the most deadliest. I, I, I watched one of the documentaries that mm. was done by doctors because they say, and I've said this thing several times, I will keep on saying it, the nerves in the, the veins and the bottles, they are really thin. Mm. So when they are doing all those injections of fat, like, you know, fat transfers and all of that, that if a tiny thing mistakenly crosses and enters the vein, it, like you are literally dead in seconds. Do you understand? Mm. So why would you put yourself mm. through that? What exactly is inside the bomb bomb that a lot of girls want to just have big buttocks? Investments. Okay. Some people, investments. On that note, let's talk. Uh, the one that concerns us, <laughs> fraud prevention and protection. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>